Hello, my name is Daniel Mauricio Muñoz and today I talk about air view indicators as lesions. Well, lesions are complex organisms formed by the intimate union symbiosis of a fungus and at least one photosynthetic organism, a green agar or a cyanobacteria. The union of the two organisms produces a structure lesion which is completely different from either of the two organisms separately. Inside the lesion is the optimal conditions are given for the algae on cyanobacteria to carry out the photosynthesis through which sugars are generated that serve as food for the fungus. Yes, lesionic symbiosis is a really successful strategy. One in five species of as common sated fungi is lesioned. Lesions are able to live in virtually all terrestrial ecosystems, from the equator to the poles, and from the coast to the high mountains, covering about 8% of the Earth's surface. One of the habitats that lesions are able to colonize is the trees in our cities where they have to deal with air pollution. Lesions are organisms formed by the union of a fungus and a photosynthetic organism. Lesions are peculiar living things. In reality, they are not individual organisms, but are formed by the association of fungi and green algae. Both organisms live in a close symbiotic mutual association that is with mutual benefit. The fungus called mycobion is heterotrophic, so you need to take organic compounds made to feed. The fungus provides inorganic salts and a water absorption area. The algae is capable of photosynthesis and produce carbohydrates from CO2 and water. Lesions are symbiotic organisms that possess the characteristics of good bioindicators. A bioindicator is a biological process, a species of community that can be to assess the quality of the environment and its evolution with the passage of time. The different instrumental methods commonly used to determine air quality provide point data on the levels of a different number of polluting substances present in the cell, but do not allow to know their effects on ecosystems. Since the 1960, numerous papers have been published scientists who, through the study of the ecophysiology and biodiversity of lesions, demonstrate their sensibility to many of the air pollutants with legislative levels for health protection. Sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, ozone, and heavy metals, as well as other types of environmental pollution. This makes them a useful and real tool for assessing pollution, which complements the instrumental methods. Okay, these organisms which are often confused with plants actually result from the symbiosis between a fungus and photosynthesis algae are used as bioindicators for the detection of hydrocarbons, acids and the other toxic substances found in air by accumulating these substances in their tissues. These organisms are used as air bioindicators in many parts of the world. Continuous and I say that the high sensitivity of lesions to environmental pollution is related to biology. Most species live decades of hundreds of years so they are subject to the accumulative effect of pollutions or bioaccumulators. Lesions do not have to a vascular system that conducts water or nutrients. As a result, they have to develop efficient mechanisms 
to obtain them from atmospheric sources. Fog and dew, the largest sources of water for the for these organisms, often have much higher concentrations of pollutants than precipitated water. And the nutrient concentration mechanisms of lesions will also constrain the this work has a teaching purpose. The faculty of pharmacy is not responsible of the information contained there. Contaminants, unlike many vascular plants, lesions have no parts. They cannot avoid exposure to contaminants by moving parts. In addition, the shortage of stomata and cuticle causes or results to absorb on the entire surface of the tailus, therefore they have little biological control over the gaseous exchange, and the gaseous pollutants present in the air diffuse easily to the photobion layer. Although deshydration allows lesions leave dry periods, also concentrate solutions to the point of power to reach toxic toxic concentrations of some substance. In addition, due to its symbiotic, the photosynthesis respiration ratio is considerably lower in the lesions than in other plants or organisms, so any alteration in the physiology of the photosymbiote can cause catastrophic effects on the stability of symbiosis and eventually precipitate it the extrusion. Okay, this is all and thanks for your attention.